I'm here with uh, former federal cabinet minister, former liberal uh, MP, Denny Coderre, running for mayor of Montreal. Uh, Denny, uh, here, what, here. <laughs> what, what, what made you decide to run for mayor of Montreal? You know, you can't be a member of parliament for 16 years, but I'm a Montrealer for the last 40 years, and uh, my Montreal was hurt. And I, I felt that the time has come is to, uh, you know, three years ago, I, I, I felt that uh, maybe because of my experience, because of uh, my, my close relationship with uh, the citizen, that I can be part of that solution, that I can be that conductor who can surround with uh, everybody from, a, you know, a, a, any side of this city to say, okay, uh, let's cut the crap. Make sure that we are back uh, on the rail. That we have an amazing, we are an amazing uh, uh, metropolis. Uh, stop all those forums, all those summit, and time for action. And I'm a man of action, and I felt that uh, the, the the timing was great to, to do that. And uh, it was a Montrealer who who didn't want to look at the parade, want to be part of it. Now the official campaign hasn't really begun, but the campaign for you began the moment you announced your candidacy, and you've been getting out there, meeting with the people. And what's the reaction been? The reaction, frankly, is amazing. Of course, you cannot be unanimous because Jean-Paul Sartre used to say, "If you're unanimous, it means that you're insignificant." But uh, the relationship was great. I, I'm, I'm visiting all the boroughs, and uh, in English or in French or in Creole or Italian, everybody was is very is very pleased, and uh, they feel that uh, because I was not involved in municipal politics or uh, in provincial politics, I, I'm a kind of a newcomer with experience. I'm only 49. I'm going to turn 50. I heard there's a crisis, Middle East <laughs> crisis. I don't know. You'll have to tell me how it works. Uh, but uh, frankly, uh, the, the the reaction is great, and. Uh, uh, I'm delighted to see uh, that I'm connecting with people and they want to help. I have a lot of people who wants to run. Uh, people feel that uh, this is a great opportunity, you know, uh, on the eve of the 375th anniversary. We have to do, uh, make sure that uh, we're proud again, bring back the trust. And, uh, you know, this is the second biggest city in, in Canada. This is an international uh, worldwide uh, metropolis. And uh, because of that experience at the federal level, because I'm somebody who was always on talking with the people that uh, I can be that uh, that mayor. I think you could be a model for social media. You've got uh, uh, over a hundred thousand Twitter followers. So tell us how you're going to bring social media into the administration of Montreal. It's about connecting. Uh, there's already a, t a department there. It's not necessarily working that much, but there's a good effort. You know, I'm not the guy who will say that if the the roof is uh, having some problem that you have to tear down the the house. There's some. Uh, good foundation and I think that it's a matter of attitude. I, I want to bring smart cities, you know, smart cities bring smart citizens, bring smart regulation, bring a, a better connection with people. This is not, uh, uh, this is a mean, this is a way to uh, to outreach and uh, every tools that I will have in my capacity to have a direct contact with the people and help them to have a better quality of life. I think that through social media, through Wi-Fi, through some tools that already exist, we'll have, we'll send kind of a, a new personalized uh, service through our, our employees directly to the citizen, and I think this is a 21st century culture. My last question, uh, being a, having been a federal minister, worked in Parliament for 16 years, uh, Montreal has gone through some tough times over the last couple yeah. of years. Do you feel that you could be that ambassador, not only in Montreal, but you've, you've traveled the world uh, yeah. as a minister, Will that be a bonus? Well, let's put it this way. Yes, because I think that, uh, you know, as a former Minister of Immigration, uh, Francophonie or Sports or all the, the, you know, the portfolio that I got, I think that we need a Team Montreal, not only in Quebec, not only in Canada, but worldwide. And because of that kind of experience, but to, uh, I want to be a conductor. It's not a one-man show. You, we, you have great people. I, I even have a former ambassador who wants to give a hand. So, you know, to, to bring all those people together and say, okay, we'll stop. We, we know what happened now we have to move on and uh, because of that I think that uh, we can't uh, we can bring uh, new hope and uh, to be all part of the solution instead of trying to look uh, you know in our past all the time there are some people who are working on that and uh, I think the time has come now to uh, to move on all right Denis Cordero good luck and thank you very much thank you my pleasure